are you representing yourself? If, if you're a business owner, it's, um, it's fine if you're, if you're not yet, you know, you might be working for somebody, but maybe you're thinking someday if you do, or you want to start a little something on the side, even if it's a little something on the side, um, the first step is you say, be a business, how are you going to represent yourself? It's LLC Incorporated, so I'll let you cover that. By be a business, I do mean officially register yourself with the Secretary of State. Have an operating agreement if you're an LLC. Really have your, your business set up separately from your personal life. Um, it's not just that you need to be a limited liability company to protect yourself. I mean, that, that is good advice in terms of, of generally, and there are businesses where you definitely need to be an LLC in order to have that added layer of protection between your personal finances and your business finances. But the other reason, the, one of the very important reasons, I think, is that it gives a signal to everybody else in the business community that you're serious, that you are an actual business. You're not just doing this little hobby that's in the corner of your bedroom. You are you know, taking yourself, your business, and the fact that you want to make money doing this very seriously.